about black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bring it down the empire, and reality's simple. Reality's simple. My black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bring it down the empire, and reality's simple. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the World Wide Web. Well, <laughs> I am known as the Mighty, 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 mm. angel snubbing up seven. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. There's an old saying, and it goes like this. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. Because people hold money to such high regard. Usually, if they are serious about something, they will put their money, they will invest their money into whatever it is that they are talking about. Put your money where your mouth is. I would like to send this message to Caucasian people. I would like to send this message to the dark Europeans, the Uncle Ruckers, the Sambos, these Negroes who love their masa. You know who you are, and you know who I am describing. Those who are patriotic to America, you Negroes. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine and dandy. Because perhaps you will help me in this venture that I suggest. Put your money where your mouth is. During the uh, trial, well actually during, what's the word I'm looking for? But since the death of our little brother, Trayvon Martin and due to so many Caucasian people and some Negroes who feel or felt as though George Zimmerman was not guilty then George Zimmerman set up a website and to my knowledge or from what I heard the website raised almost $300,000 for the defense of George Zimmerman to help him get no punishment for the murder of an unarmed child. <laughs> so these people put their money where their mouth is. I feel as though George Zimmerman is not guilty, so I will help George Zimmerman. I will put my money where my mouth is. Five dollars here, a dollar here, ten dollars here, almost three hundred thousand dollars. So I come before all of you who think this way, because chances are if you think this way, you will also have the mentality to tell all of us who speak against injustice 
that these Caucasian people have done and still continue to do, we show that we are dissatisfied, upset with this nation, you would tell us, why stay in America? Get the hell out. The Uncle Ruckus, the Uncle Coon, the Uncle Tom, dark Europeans, as well as Caucasian people themselves. You have become sick and tired of people like me who complain about the racism because things have gotten better. Stop being a victim. Go back to Africa. You would bring this type of talk to me. So I want to present to you something and I want you to put your money where your mouth is. I would like for you, Caucasian people, white people, pink people, along with your Uncle Tom Ruckus, dark Europeans, those who love you so much and who are willing to wait another 400 years so perhaps after another 400 years they finally will be viewed as a man. Finally, they don't have to sing after another, it would be 800 years. Finally, they will be able to say, not only shall we overcome, but now we have overcame. But while they are overcoming after 800 years, I would like to place those children that follow behind we who wish to separate from our oppressors, they would be doing well and good. In fact, many of the children of the Uncle Toms and Dark Europeans will be doing their best to go where those who separated 400 years ago. Because that land, that place, will be more peaceful, more honest, more equal. We cannot expect perfection, but we can expect better than what we see right now, which is outright evil. And this is something we don't want to be. So put your money where your mouth is. Like you support George Zimmerman, the killing of an unarmed teenage child. Then I ask you to join me. I don't want to love you. I don't want your daughter. I don't want your money. Well, actually, I do want your money. I want you to put your money where your mouth is. Join with me. Organize with me. So that we can get this ball rolling. So we can separate and go back to Africa. Go back to somewhere other than this place. Because I don't want to be around you. You don't want to be around me. You don't want justice for me. I know you're not going to give us justice. So stop the complaining. Put your money where your mouth is. All of those who are not satisfied living here, there are many. So you are comfortable with your Uncle Tom, dark European, ruckus type Negro. You can have them. Keep going to bed with them. Keep having have breed babies with them, a lot of babies or whatever. Y'all keep having your little party going on. They can tolerate you. I don't want to be around you no more because you're lying, you're fake. And you are even more fake if you do not join with me. Give me your money, just like you gave George Zimmerman, so that we can go back to Africa. I can guarantee you many black people will leave, including some of your Dark European Uncle Tom type Negroes because once we leave and establish ourselves and become that which we really are, they will see finally that we are not the people that have been painted before the world. So what are you going to do with this? First of all, the first step is that you need to stay out of our business. You need to tell Fox CNBC and all your media outlets to stay the hell out of black business. Stop talking about our issues because you, you don't want to help us. You don't want to do nothing to help us. So why don't you shut up? 
Get out of our business. You don't care nothing about black on black crime. You don't care about us, period. So shut the hell up. Stay out of our business. That's number one. Number two, we need your money. We need your resources. What you going to do with the money? What you going to do with the resources? We're going to establish colonies in places we believe that we can separate an exodus to. We use this money to go and send ambassadors all over the planet to talk to world leaders to find out whether we can get a deal so that we can place ourselves in a position to create a nation of our own. I don't want to be a citizen of Ghana. I don't want to be a citizen citizens of Ethiopia. I don't want to be a citizen of no black nation. I want my own. After 400 years, the black man and woman, the descendants of slaves born in America, you deserve your own so you can be yourself. You are related to our brothers and sisters in Ghana and Somalia and the Sudan and all over this planet, but we are not them. We want to go somewhere so we can be ourselves. So that we can exhibit or express our own experience. We don't need any more slave masters, whether that slave master is Caucasian or another black man. We need this money to establish business in America. What you going to do? You're going to establish business in America. The sole purpose of the businesses in America is so that they can ac uh, accumulate the profit to support exodus. Also. We don't hate you. We don't mind doing business with you. But we just don't want no more personal relationship with you. And as we get stronger, as we are successful, we want you to promise and we will strike a deal with the government so that you can give us our prisoners in jail. First, our political prisoners. Then our brothers and sisters that's in all these prisons and jails all over this country. That will help you in your, in your debt so you don't have to pay for all these prisoners. They're not doing you no real good locked up behind bars. So let these prisoners free as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad suggested so many years ago. So that they can leave America never to return. So they can go somewhere else and build a nation of their own. So even though they are considered criminals. When history speaks, they can say that these people help bring into reality a brand new civilization. Create a brand new people. If you help me do this, I'm not looking to love your daughter. I don't care what you have. We want our own. It is possible in the United States itself. But you don't want us here. So anybody with common sense knows that you need to leave this house. Personally, I don't want to live under the jurisdiction and the control of the United States of America. I don't even want dual citizenship. We should want something of our own. We, want, we should be able to express our own intelligence. So put your money where your mouth is. Y'all talk all this stuff. I will set up the account. Send me the emails. Show me that you're serious. And the process will begin. And the only Negroes that will be left. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple.